Winter is a dark season. It can be quite a tough time of the year. The days are short, but um, the hours can be long. You often find yourself working in the dark in the morning and then working in the dark in, a, in the evening. Sometimes you feel a bit isolated up here in the, in the Dale if uh, the roads can get blocked with snow. The long dark days of winter um, seem to go on forever and I think um, speak for the farming community as a whole, it's something that we, we all like to get to the other side of. My name's Stephen Bostock and I've been involved here at Hall Farm since a very young age. Even from being young, I seem to remember that uh, we all seem to get lots of snow. It was quite a happy time of building snowmen, sledging, snowballing. But uh, as, you, as you get older and get more involved with the farm, uh, you realise that uh, winter and snow especially can mean a lot of hard work. My name's Dave Fullerton. I'm a farmer here at Hall Farm. I've been uh, farming here for several years now. Winter's definitely one of the hardest seasons on the farm, and that's partly because of the snow and bad weather that we get here. You never look forward to seeing snow at the farm as it means hard work. Anyone that likes snow doesn't have to work in it. We've been fairly lucky this year for snow-wise. It hasn't been a great deal. It seems to be here one day and gone the next. Yows are always a lot more hungry as they can't get down to any grass to eat, so that means taking them out extra silage and, and hay bales, keep them topped up as they're uh, in lamb. The lambs are taking in a, a lot more out of them, they're having to support unborn lambs inside them, so they need extra energy to help get them through. One of the biggest jobs in the wintertime is feeding the animals, really. David and I have been working on the barn extension um, for quite a long time now and we're really pleased with the outcome. It means we can get all the cows inside and feed them all at the same time. We use the silage that we prepared in the summer. That's wrapped in the uh, round bales. It's always good to see that you've, uh, you've got some good quality silage. I suppose it's always rather a gamble. You never know what the silage is going to turn or the hay is going to turn out like. We also house a couple of bulls throughout the winter months. After we finish autumn calving, we release the bull to the cows and hopefully uh, he'll be doing his job and we'll have some, uh, some cows to calve in the autumn. When the cows and, uh, and calves are all indoors, we, we have to uh, keep them clean. So we clean all the manure out and then that gets um, spread onto the, onto the meadows. Hopefully it pays dividends in the coming months to provide a a good crop of hay. It's a really good natural fertiliser. It not only provides nutrients for the, uh, for the grass and the wildflowers to grow, it also um, provides nutrients for that ecosystem. Insects, worms, etc. that uh, live on, on that environment, which in turn provides food for birds and wildlife in general. Mole catching is a very important job throughout the winter months. They make a hell of a mess to moles. If you don't keep on top of your moles, it can cause a lot of damage if you have them in your meadows. Yeah, I feel a bit sorry for moles when you only have to catch them all because uh, they're hard working, but if you don't, it can cost the life of your sheep because if that uh, soil gets into your bales, it can cause something called listerosis, which is a swelling of the brain, which will cause your sheep to die, so you can't be having that. I think uh, conservation is important to farming. Farmers have always done conservation. You don't have a lot of time really in winter, but um, you know, we try to get done what we can really in the time allowed. It's, it's a good time to plant hedges the, with the damp ground um, and hopefully plenty of rain. Um, we've planted about 200 metres of new hedge in a double row, six varieties of hedge plants. So that's a nice mixture provide a, a nice wildlife corridor for mice and hedgehogs and birds and insects to, to, li to live in, like a little environment really, from, for them to get from one bit of woodland to another. The winter can bring lots of bad weather. I think the worst thing is the wind. That can do a lot of damage. As a result of, of that, we're going to have to do some 
extra repair work, maintenance is a thing that crops up every day. We managed to get some uh, funding for the owl boxes. Fairly straightforward process to construct one, although it does take quite a long time. Hopefully the owls will appreciate all the time we, we spent on uh, constructing them. David said there have been some owls up there flying in and out, so uh, fingers crossed that um, they'll uh, continue to do so and hopefully find it and, and nest in there. The barns are, I think, an important part of the landscape. It's nice to see them still stood up. Part of our heritage, really. We try to look after them the best we can. All these conservation jobs do take up a massive amount of time. People probably don't realise how much work goes, is involved in the, you know, with the upkeep of the place. I'd like to think that uh, in the future, hopefully we can, we can look at it and think we've done our bit, help to preserve for the future generations, really. Seasonal changes on the farm and uh, personally to me, I think it's important. If every season was the same, all the jobs we had to do would be the same. So each season brings its own unique ways of working really. We don't get uh, bogged down in the same way of life for too long. I think we're a lot more aware of the seasons and the changes that each season brings us. It uh, has a lot to do with our day-to-day -day life here on the farm. We've nearly made it through the winter now really come full circle, ready for it to warm up a bit and uh, coin back around to spring. <laughs>